whenever you're ready, mate. Whenever you're ready. Welcome back to Iron Rage, the show where John Romano, Lee Priest, and I vent our frustrations with the world. I got the whole crew back this week, John, Lee, and today's topic, uh, there was an article that came out in the New York Post this past week. I sound like Blackman now with the, with the article quoting. But the New York Post uh, stated that this guy went to McDonald's and for a month ate nothing but McDonald's. And if you remember a couple years ago, they had that movie Super Size Me where the guy ate McDonald's and he got fat and his blood markers were all off and the doctor said he was going to die. This guy ate nothing but McDonald's. He lost body fat, he lost weight, and he feels great. So... Let's talk about this for a second. Lee, I want to go to you first on this because, you know, we've talked about this in the past. You know, people think that restaurants make you fat. People think that poor education makes you fat. I say it's just poor meal choices. I think you can eat healthy and you can lose weight and gain muscle eating anywhere in the world. I don't think there's a single restaurant you can't find something healthy to eat at. Exactly. Like I said, even McDonald's. McDonald's, you can go and get the grilled chicken breasts and salad. You can have the chicken wraps. They have bags of fruit, you know, in the mornings. You can get just the eggs on the side. So you can just get eggs if you want to eat the egg whites right. and uh, have the pancakes without the butter on them. So as I said, Wendy's used to have baked potatoes and you can get salads and stuff. So there are choices, but it's just easy for people to walk in the back and go, give me a Big Mac, large fries, super size it, and a chocolate sundae. And then, like I said, they eat it and eat it. And then all of a sudden you see on the news, we have it here all the time. People want to blame McDonald's for getting fat. It's like I said. Everyone knows, they always say, hey, we need more education because people are getting obese more. It's like, we don't need education. Even the dumbest person knows what's good and bad. It's like, you know, you know what's good and bad and what you put in your mouth. And then it just comes down to if you're eating sort of somewhat clean, you can have McDonald's, you can have junk food. It's just the quantity that you have. It's like, I used to go to the movies in America and it amazed me. The fattest obese people would get the biggest bucket of popcorn <laughs> and a free refill soda. And before the previews are before the preview was done, they're going back and refilling the fucking popcorn. The movie hadn't even started. And then they go, well, I can't understand why I'm fat and obese. It's like bloody hell. And that popcorn in America too, they have all that extra butter they put on top of yeah, it. Yeah. So whatever whatever butter that is, it's like a chemical. Yeah, yeah. It's not even butter probably. John, why do why does the uh, why do these fat advocates love to vilify McDonald's? It's it's never the thin people. It's always these overweight people that are blaming McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, all these places for people being fat. Why can't they just take responsibility and say, you know what, I'm eating the wrong shit because I have mental problems. Well, I, I'm I'm eating the wrong shit because I have mental problems. This is a tough nut to crack when you do that with me. So, you know, rather than that, I want to blame somebody else. I want to blame McDonald's because they have a clown, and the clown comes on TV and tells me to eat double cheeseburgers and you know these little helps that are going to come and help me, you know, exercise later. And um, you know, th th they paint this picture. So they paint this McDonald's picture on TV, on media. You know, everywhere you go and you go in the restaurant, oh, it looks all the pictures look so nice and you'd love to eat one of those because it looks so good. Right. You know, and but like Lee said, you know, you can make good choices, but man, the, 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 the double quarter pounder with cheese looks way better than that freaking salad bowl. So, you know, and, and the fries, I mean, come on, McDonald's French fries, they're, they're like drugs. Yeah. So, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's because of that. They want to blame McDonald's because they make it so enticing and so hard to say no. And it preys on their absolute lack of willpower in, and you know, their ability to just be okay going through life sloppy and obese and, and blame somebody else for it. So because McDonald's is so good in, in a sort of chemically dependent kind of way, um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, more, it's more inclined to be the culprit of you know obesity but you know like you could make good choices there who is that guy who, who went to subway and ate his way from you know 600 pounds down to like 200 I, and he ended up being a pedophile and they took him away <laughs> then, he started, oh, Jared. Then, he, then he started eating kids <laughs> <laughs> no look i when i was in my mcdonald's heyday choices oh. at McDonald's. when i was in my mcdonald's heyday john I would, you know, people thought, how did Dave eat McDonald's every single day and he, and he had no body fat? Now, granted, I have a very good metabolism, but when I would go to McDonald's, my meal was, I would get basically 
three patties on one bun. So I would get I would get six six hamburgers. Oh, I'd get four hamburgers, two cheeseburgers, and I would put three patties on, on, on one bun, three patties on another. So I only ate two hamburger buns, and then I would have, it used to be a supersized fry, but then God forbid, God forbid America wants supersized. It, it, they, they banned supersizing, they only had larges. So I would have a large fry, and, and I would have a diet soda. So if you think about the macronutrient profile, that it's mostly protein, there's a little bit of fat probably in there, but comparable for what I need. And the carbs are not excessive. I probably ate more carbs when I would have a plate of pasta than, than from having two hamburger buns and, uh, and a large fry. So for me, that was a pretty good meal. Meanwhile, sitting next to me was the 400-pound lady who was having f fish fillets with, slathered with mayonnaise, um, fries, and, and, a, and a large vanilla shake that was probably 4 million calories. So... That's poor food choice. My choice, while it seemed sensationalistic because McDonald's and bodybuilding, it was really very logical for what a bodybuilder needed macronutrient-wise. It's just not very high-quality food. But I, I do the same thing. I eat yeah. at McDonald's. I do the exact same Ara thing. Arachidonic acid. You need the arachidonic <laughs> acid. Although... But, but uh, like I said, people just don't want to take responsibility for the overweightness. I know here in Australia now, We've actually taken the commercials off TV of Sam Toucan and order oh, cartoon really? characters that go along with cereals because the cereals is making kids fat. I'm thinking, I can't remember the last time I saw a six-year-old pushing the shopping cart around buying fucking food for the house. It's like the parents the parents buy the food, you say no to the kid. Even if the kid wants Fruit Loops, you say no. It's like crazy. Right. It's like, you know. Right, right. It's probably the whole milk that's in there that's worse than the, than the cereal, to be honest with you. It's, well, it's the it could be. But just to prove that bodybuilders eat good food, hold on. Now, now, granted, Lee Priest, when he's back in his Kentucky Fried Chicken mode, was eating a whole bucket of chicken. You know that that you know uh, might be construed hey, as being a little obsessive. It's only, it's only chicken. a lot of protein. Ah, <laughs> that's like where's Waldo? <laughs> is, is that vintage box? Protein one point nine, fat. 0.4 carbohydrates, 25 grams. That's the perfect get up and go before you work out. Get a great pump. Do you actually use a real serving size or do you do multiple serving sizes? I just have a normal bowl size. I know you get a peak, Dave. That's how you get fat. You sprinkle <laughs> creatine on top of it? There's servings in this big box, 16 servings in this large box. Wow. I gotta make a I gotta make a protein cereal. I think that would be a great seller, don't you? I did actually. I had um when I had my thing in Australia, my company, I had one called um it was a chocolate cereal, but inside the chocolate cereal I had like those protein rice crispies. So when you shook it up in the container, right. it was like drinking a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a great idea. So it's just it's just like Cocoa Pops, and everybody loved it. Already come in, like, you know, the little bottle like this. You just add the water and shake it, so you could drink it like a protein breakfast cereal and had the Rice Krispies in it. Wow. I got to try that. Can I steal that from you? Yeah, sure. Just give me a cut back on it. Okay. I, I, I want to see somebody come out with a protein that looks like a steak. <laughs> yeah, they, doesn't they do sound that appealing, John. <laughs> What's your best steak? <laughs> Filet mignon. <laughs> and, it's, it's, Bone and, in. and you know what? Bone the answer in is always the same, and he always asks the same question. You know, he goes, you know what my favorite steak is, Dave? Tips the steak funny thing is, out. he's probably the, the steak, he was probably the steak restaurant expert of the world, because he ate more, more steak restaurants than anyone I know, right? He was the, was, he was, he was the, he was the, the same meat. stupid question. <laughs> he was the meat expert, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so he was the... <laughs> It was the tenderizer. All right, uh, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna quiz you guys. If you okay, let's see if you could pick the, the, the well. If you had to go into I I know what I order in all these fast food places. If you had to go into into Kentucky Fried Chicken, Lee, we know what you like to order there. What would you order if you were like say on a contest diet? You were desperate. It was the only restaurant you can go to. You're in an airport. What would you order from Kentucky Fried Chicken that could be healthy, construed as healthy at least? Probably the grilled chicken wrap without the sauce, and then when I get it unwrapped, it's so it's just chicken breast and salad, and maybe eat a bit of the thing that's wrapped in. But I know some Kentuckys for a while were just doing grilled chicken breast, where you know you can buy the skin chicken or the hot spicy. You could just buy 
a plain grilled chicken breast. So yeah. I don't think it was a big seller, so they stopped doing it. But, no, but you know, that, that, had, that's a great answer. To, great answer. Even John. If had, even if I had the chicken, I'd just take the skin off it. Sometimes you've had drumsticks, I'd put the right. skin off. Sure, a bit of fat soaked in, but hey, if you're in a pinch, you know, you can always find something to eat yeah. in a pinch. John, if you had to go into Taco Bell, what could you eat there that's healthy? I've never been to Taco Bell. Oh, you so have? Wow. <laughs> You're Mr. Mexico. Come on. That's why I asked you about Cockro Taco Bell. Cockroaches. Tyler, I mean, what about a Taco Bell? But you know what? I, I have no idea what to have at Taco Bell, but a taco restaurant yeah, in Mexico, you can eat very clean. They have they have fire grills. They got know, salads they at these places, right? I, I, not in Mexico, no. No, Taco Bell I'm talking about. No, I, I don't know. I, like, I've never been to there's Taco Bell. No, there's no salad in Mexico, you dickhead. All the farmers have gone to L.A. <laughs> but if I was Kentucky Fried Chicken, I, I would get four crispy strips. That's what I would there's get. No one, there's no one left in Mexico to pick the vegetables, for fuck's sake. Or the fruit. <laughs> well, they don't have any vegetables. <laughs> what about Wendy's? You go to Wendy's, what do you eat? Uh, uh, a du uh, double, a double, double with no nothing on it but ketchup and pickles. There you and go. you can buy the baked bake potato. You get baked potato there in a bowl of fruit and stuff. You know what I used to? You know what McDonald's used to have? I don't know if they still do it. They used to do like a double patty burger on a salad. I know some places, some states still have it. You could actually, they it's like it's a keto diet. Really, uh, they used to have a pork patty in the shape of ribs, too. You could get that with barbecue sauce. <laughs> didn't they, didn't yeah. they used to, um, was it In-N-Out or Fat Burger that used to do the burgers wrapped in the lettuce leaf? You could yes, really you're right. Patty. You're right. Those are great. I think In-N-Out Burgers is one of the most underrated places in the country. I love that. See, I disagree with all of this. I Let's say if you go to, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I completely disagree with all of this. If, if you're going to routinely, and I don't even care if you're getting ready for a contest, if you're going to routinely eat at McDonald's, okay. <laughs> eat there every day, then eat the salad and the wrap and the chicken and blah, blah, blah. But if you're blowing through town and the only thing you've got is McDonald's, fuck, eat the whole burger. You, you, I think people just get way too overblown. Right, but we're their, talking about people who eat, who have to eat because they travel a lot. And then they use it as an excuse that they're fat because they, make, right. they, well, yeah. they have to eat out. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, in, in in a rare event that you get to go to McDonald's, I think it's just perfectly okay to eat whatever. Yeah, that's fine once in a while, cheat meal. But let's right. say Waffle House. If you're going to Waffle House or IHOP, I mean, you could have like an omelet, you know, yeah, uh, which which would be fine. And you want to have a bowl of oatmeal or grits on the side. I used to have the I used to have the T-bone steak at IHOP with the eggs on the side. No, I didn't have any hash browns, just the toast with no butter, T-bone steak, and some eggs, and occasionally. I might have had those real thin lemon crepes. <laughs> those are good. Yeah, so I mean... Let's say, what do, you, what do you eat, Dave? Let's just say you're in a public restroom, you go in with Steve, there's a hole in the wall. What do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> and Blake will go, yeah, what's the best hole in the wall? We, we <laughs> what's the best rest stop? Which, yeah, is, when, 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 which when is Steve your best hole in the wall? Yeah, when Steve says I eat at that little hole in the wall, he's got a different, you know, <laughs> it's, a different, it's a different meaning. <laughs> yeah, you just go walk up to it. I'll rub your shoulders while you stand in front of the yeah. hole. You thought, you thought he was going to some little diner in some shit-ass little country town. No, he had a special hole in the wall place where he ate. <laughs> and the funny thing is, if you go overseas and you try to eat, you can't eat, they don't give you enough food to get fat over there. So, I mean, <laughs> only in America do they give you enormous, crazy, ridiculous portions. You know that. So, I just don't buy into the fact that, that the restaurants and the marketing are making people fat. I buy into the fact that people make poor choices because they, and they, they consciously do it because they don't give a shit. You know, you know, I, I agree. But you, you know what I always look for when I'm going out of town is the Chinese buffet. You can always get good, pro clean protein, steamed yeah. rice, vegetables. You can get a yeah. good, clean meal out of the Chinese buffet. And yeah, she, like I, said, the, I always like Chinese sometimes when I'm in a shopping center because, yeah, they have the sweet and sour pork and all the other shit. But like John says, at the other end, they do have just the mixed vegetables. Yeah. They do have like a steamed chicken. They do have just the steamed rice. So you can always get a steamed cat, whatever it is at the time. You don't really know. But, you know protein's protein. Says, Come on, man. Chicken, the cat tastes like chicken, so everything tastes like That's chicken. Right. So, you know, That's right. And gold like, is too. 
Golden Corral, you keep clean. I, I, that's one of my favorite places, although they shut the one down here for two weeks because of uh, health code violations. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> old so like you said, pre Golden pretty, much, pretty much everywhere. I'm old, I'm John, Texas, no. Cracker, Cracker Barrel always had good, good clean food. You can pretty much yes. find clean food everywhere mm -hmm. if you look for it. But I think, too, because the bad food always tastes sometimes a little bit better, and, and two, the convenience these days, I think people just get lazy. They don't want to cook a meal anymore. It's like, ah, we'll just pull through the drive through or grab this. That's forever. fine, I'm but make good, that, make good choices, other, though. Right. Well, not the other day, I heard people complaining about the price of coffee, but when I was at McDonald's the other day, I went in there, people are going through the drive through car after another, just buying these coffees, and they complain about the price. It's like, well, make your fucking coffee at home then yeah, if you don't exactly. want to pay for it. It's like, <laughs> and what, what do they put in the coffee? They make them, they're milkshakes, basically, they're, they're making yeah. these oh, yeah. It's nuts. The, car the caramel and all the sugar. Yeah. And the sugar. But then, I mean, but uh, then, I, sometimes, then sometimes they say the coffee's making me fat. It's not the piece of cake and the big muffin you're yeah. having with the coffee. Yeah, exactly. I, <laughs> I, always see, I always see it at the gym. After the, there's a little cafe out the front of the gym, the women leave the gym, then they pull all the tables together. It's like a fucking sewing circle of all these women having coffee, sandwiches, and cakes, and they go, I wonder why I'm not losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> I blame, I, like, oh, I blame the people. Little kids, they've got little kids there, and they're like, oh, I haven't got time to sit down. I've got to eat this now because once I get home, I haven't got time to sit down. I'm, I'm running around after my kid all day. <laughs> he doesn't stay still. I'm thinking, well, your kid don't run fast because you're fucking fat. If you were running all day, you would have lost some fucking weight. <laughs> And you know what? Kids eat what their parents give them. So I blame the parents why the kids are fat. You don't blame the kids for being fat. It's the yeah, parents exactly. that are You always see, you see it all the time. I go to the grocery store. You'll see the obese parent and then the kids. Okay, granted, occasionally some people do have the medical problems, medications yeah. where they do get fat. But majority of the time is when you see the obese parent, the kid's fat. You look in the shopping cart, it's ice cream, chips, it's yeah. Coke. It's just yeah. all, that, all that sort of food and they're pushing on it again. To me, really, when a kid's that young, that is a form of child abuse when you're just making the yep. kid that obese and yeah. medical problems later on in life. And then now with all this bullying, they call, talk about kids being bullied because they're overweight. So like you said, kids don't put the groceries in there. The kids don't buy the food. It's the parents buying the food for the kids. You're a hundred percent right. Cause my son will eat really well because I eat well. He wants to eat like I do. He doesn't even want the bad food, even if it's available because he wants to eat like daddy eats or my daughter wants to eat like mommy or daddy eats. So, it, he it, goes, it, Daddy, it, can I have that chicken and salad? You go, yes, you can. He goes, hey, Daddy, what about a few Diana Bob? No, no, you're too, <laughs> young, you're too young. Wait till later on in life. My son's <laughs> eating sushi off my Daddy, plate. Daddy, no. can you ask me also about some insulin? No, 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 you're too young yet. You're too young. Just wait till you get later on in life. <laughs> Oh, insulin man. protocol, Daddy. Insulin protocol. No, no. That's right. That's salad right. and chicken. <laughs> I'll send him the meal. I'll send my son the mealos when he gets old enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you for taking the time out. Remember, the, the take home message is you can eat healthy, you can lose weight going anywhere you want, even eating these Fruit Loops if you really want to. Make the choice yourself. <laughs> Don't be influenced by what well, other people say or do. It's a personal well, obviously decision. That, obviously, that doesn't fucking work, does it? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's helped you. <laughs> you're just refilling that. You're just refilling that from the tap, aren't you? <laughs> I, I am actually. I refill them all the time. I do that. I buy one of those big, expensive bottles of glass. You know, the water ones. They just keep refilling. Wow, he's drinking I, that expensive stuff. I do. Stuff. I refill from the refrigerator. <laughs> But what my point is, is while you're doing all this eating out at McDonald's, make remember to drink water. Yes, exactly. Yeah, shut up, Dave. Shut up, Dave. John and I are talking, Dave. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs>